defeat me! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. We've turned it up to 11. Um, yeah, it's going pretty well. I'm doing quite well standing in the background while Matrix tanks everything at the start of the rift while he builds up his little power boost, damage boost, snapshot thing that he's got going on. Um, we're going to be carrying on with some greater rifts. Um, I've got my gems up to rank 30 each. I'd ideally like to get them up to 35 before we finish, but that depends on time. We've got about half an hour left. Um, so should we jump straight on in with a rift? After you. At least this is only a regular rift. I can tell that you've not snuck up the difficulty at all. <laughs> would I do such a... Th well, I, I probably wouldn't, but the thought would be there, even if the actuality wasn't. Ooh, set boots. Boots you. Okay, that was quite weak, I know. <laughs> right, let's get on in. So periodically, I'm just pumping back and forth between evasive fire and um, multi-shot. Just to keep the focus and restraint bonus up, but also wraps of clarity damage reduction up. Those so two... you switch back over to evasive fire then. I told uh, you it's good. Oh yeah, yeah. I Now that I'm not actually flinging grenades around all over the place, it makes perfect sense. Um, but I'm using focus on it rather than um, backflipping all over the place. Because changing position was not working for me at all. Yeah, I would... so the armor bonus one, yeah? Uh, no, the one that gives me more hatred. Oh, uh, okay. You could switch that over to the armor bonus one. Uh, yeah, like I, if you feel a bit squishy here and there. Possibly. I don't think it's going to be necessary. Um, but, um, yeah, having the extra hatred means I only need to touch on it once. And then I can go straight back. So I feel like I do a lot more damage this way. I see it backing off. See, one thing about playing with your brother is every now and then you get a little psychic connection where he laughs while he watches you standing in a molten thing, wondering if you've noticed your impending doom. No, I was wondering if I could survive them, and I was debating about trying it, and then I thought, nah. <laughs> is it worth the attempt? That is very bad. I'm out of that. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got everything under control, he says. I'm in my like, frame rate. I used my healing potion in there. Wow, that is bad. <laughs> I need to watch my resource oh, he's a juggernaut bastard. There is a blood thief up here, by the way. For what it's worth. Alright, now I'm going back to pick up all that stuff that I left. There's a bow. We're doing well on the time, though. Yep. Should At least we were until we ran out of mobs to kill. Are brown. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the right idea. He wore the brown trousers. Damn straight. Pox falls all round. Frozen's <laughs> watching all your companions just standing around. It's like we're playing one big giant game of statues. <laughs> Sleeping lions but standing up. Which is basically the same thing. Oh, uh, unique potion and some set pants. Ah, oh, unique sword for me. Not nearly as good as Ramon Baldi's gift, but um Ramaladme is 
Yeah, whatever. I haven't found one this season. I forget what it's called. I'm a ding dong. You actually pulled them right close to me, so I'm just going to back out for a second. Not because I'm worried about them, but because it's sensible. Sounds like you're worried about them. I'm worried about everything in this game. I'm not worried about you. How about that? <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Yeah. Always wear your safe pants in hardcore, just in case. <laughs> or Safety pants. <laughs> Safety pants. Oh, there's a unique helm in that. I'm going to stand down here just in case. There we go. That's some good drops. Wow, I got four deaths press from one of those mobs in there. Yeah, me too, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six unique items and two Paragon levels. Uh, I got three Paragon levels. Definitely slowing down a little bit. The Raven's Wing. Well, this was only a regular rift rather than a greater rift, so... This is true. That is a really bad Sword of Ill Will. Uh, as far as receiving hatred, that's not bad. I think we'll end up salvaging it up, though. So, Band of Hollow Whispers, that can go across here. Everything else, I think, is going to get salvaged up. No, this can go across as well. And Natalia's boots. I'm pretty certain I've already got Natalia's boots. Yeah, we've got better ones. Do you want some ancient Blackthorns pants? <laughs> Fuck off. I, I'll take them to turn them into a forgotten soul, but... Um, no, too late. You already mocked them. Um, so for Quiver, I'm using Dead Man's Legacy. Multi-shot will hit enemies below 57% health twice. Which is awesome. Doubles my damage when going up against big ass mobs. Uh, right, let's ask for some shoulders. Well, that's disappointing. Much like your face. Okay, I am ready to go into a greater rift as soon as you're ready. I'm just doing weird stuff with gems again. He does the weird stuff. Uh, nah, it's not worth me changing any of that. Just yeah. like a little bit of progress each time. I know that I could convert gems between types, but honestly... That's something you can do off camera if you really fancy it at some point. Yeah. Go on then. I hope I gave you enough time there. I think yep, I probably that's did. Fine. Oh, is that a channeling pilot? It is. You know, you can't just like zip onto the next section. You actually have to kill things on the line. I am. I'm just zipping to where there's big groups so that I can put my uh, turrets down. You know, tactical gameplay. While the going is good. And we are making very good time at the moment. I would say we're making acceptable time.
Right. Got to watch my resource management now that that channeling pylon is off. Yeah. You get baited into a false sense of uh, security. Yeah, a little bit. Conduit pylon. Oh, geez, stuck in a corner. In the wrong corner as well. That is the worst. This isn't even the right way. Where am I going? I don't know. Are you playing the right game? Probably. Still playing Divinity? No, I'm playing Dead Cells now. <laughs> uh, let's run through that rather than standing in it. Shield pylon. That helps with damage management. But yes, that does all <laughs> the damage management for you. Yeah, Spalders of Zakara I put up there with Black Dawn set for how overpowered they are and how much they need to be nerfed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's basically infinite gold at that point, isn't it? I mean, phew. Well, I mean... If there was like a chance, like even like a 5% chance you would take no damage at all from a hit, that would make them interesting. Or, you know, maybe unwritten one in a hundred of them actually makes you invulnerable periodically. Like gives you a, a, a shield around yourself when you get hit. How about damage that would normally affect your gear affects the enemy's gear? If the enemy had gear, that would be a very interesting mechanic. How do you know the enemy doesn't? I'm pretty certain the enemy doesn't. It could be a PvP trolling thing, eh? <laughs> a PvP trolling thing. Maybe if the uh, real money auction house was still a thing, that would be kind of cool. All the extra damage. And crossbow, I feel pants, like, I feel like he shoulders, had a bad day. Amulet, belt, and belt. Okay, we're going to do esoteric alteration up. We'll grab that and we'll head back to town. So, Paragon points, I got two so far. Yeah, I got three just then. And that gives me another, another three. three. Yeah. Yeah, until we reach Paragon 500, the leveling difference is not stupidly... Oh, geez, I pressed, pressed Vault by mistake. It's not stupidly huge between the, uh, the various levels. And then it really ramps up. Um, I'm going to get rid of all these. These make me sad. Kadala shoulders. Both of those are a no. I'm that lovely to have, but no. Are they really lovely to have? Well, for varying definitions of lovely. Are you ready for another rift? I am. Cool. See, that's the other thing. I could always just vault past the initial uh, combat thing and start taking on other things while you um, do your face tanking. Yep. Yep. Totally good. Power pylon. I noticed. Oh my god, that is insanely powerful. We are just a tiny bit overpowered. <laughs> what? No, we're not. 
I think we are. Remember, remember when things go wrong, they go very wrong. Very that is the thing. I mean, the definition of glass cannon, really. It's a rather well-built glass cannon at the moment, that's all. This way. I didn't vault into a wall. You didn't see it. You can't prove anything. <laughs> I did see it, and there's a dent in the wall and in your face. Now that that was always there. As for the wall, I don't know. Speed pylon, okay. I know I need to watch my uh, hatred a bit more. Did you get frozen? I did. I didn't have any of my get out of problems free things. Was it worth it? Didn't really matter. Didn't really make a difference. Didn't really do much damage, so that's good. Yeah, that is really the fundamental thing, isn't it? Oh my word, my frame rate has dropped to 15 at the moment. <laughs> all the bullets everywhere. All the mobs dying really quickly. Imagine what it would be like with uh, a four player game. With four multi-shot demon hunters, it would be an actual bullet storm. Yep, that's exactly right. Every time he says, just like your face, he's also talking about his face. Although we do have slightly different facial hair and um, his hair is longer than mine at the moment. And what colour is it? Purple. Purple. Cool. Do you, do you even need to ask? Well, it could have been blue. Or red. Yeah, it's been purple now for the last, like, four years solid. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, but yes, every time he uh, he does that, um, he's also commenting about himself. It, it, it's like if we were to do your mum jokes. They're still funny. But. Uh. Right, let's tear through all this up here. There we go. I think Saxterius is one of the easier ones at this stage. Yeah, I, th I don't think any of them are massively difficult, except maybe Cold Snap, the bastard. Because he does that unexpected freeze everything nearby thing. Yeah, I suppose. All those points in the Bane of the Stricken. Cool. And I got four Paragon levels in total there. Uh, I got another six. Right, and for these, I got Gladiator Gauntlets, Ancient Path and Defenders, nice. Gold Skin, Cloak of the Garwolf, that's the one that I was being told about earlier. Uh, Augustine's Panacea and the Bow of Hash. Right, so Cloak of the Garwolf, that can at least go in here. Gold Skin, the yeah, Ancient Path and Defense. Can go ready for the cube. Everything else can actually go because I've either got spares of it or already have it cubed. So, one, two, three, four, five. Right, we're going to ask for shoulders once again. Well, we actually got some Marauder Shoulders. I'm going to hold on to these, so we've got a potential for re-rolling. 
Uh, let's put them down here so that they're semi-obvious. I say mm, semi-obvious, I mean not, not really that obvious. Yeah, they can go with the boots, actually. Let's, uh, let's do that. And the rest can get salvaged up. Right. I'm going to open another rift. Get the start... Oh. Get this party started. Unt, 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 unt. No, you don't have to perform seppuku. Everyone's allowed to make mistakes. The important thing is recognizing when you've made mistakes and then correcting yourself. That's the uh, whole premise of science. Yeah, correcting yourself, admitting that you've made a mistake and then saying what the correct thing is. Um, Wait, one of my uh, viewers made a mistake over the uh, Cloak of the Guard Wolf. Oh, right. It gives you three wolves, doesn't it? Uh, no, they called it the uh, Cloak of um, Wolfgar. Uh, Wolfgar's a cool name anyway, so... Oh, it is. It totally is. I think it may actually be a Space Wolf name. Uh, but uh, it's been a while since I've uh, done any 40k Space Wolf stuff. Crusader Shield, yes! At last I can retire! Oh, vaulted totally into a wall there. That was not my intention. Doing the Jedi being thing being as a demon a hunter. Wall. It's really hard to control where you're going. No, it's not. You just actually have to use your mouse. Well, yeah, but, you know, I don't actually like moving my hand at all. I just want it to all be done with my brain. I'll be playing a monk. <laughs> See, I thought you were going to make a comment about, well, that's just going to let you die all the time, but, uh... You know, make some kind of better than live comment. Secretly, you want to die, so you're going to die. See, I'm assuming you were in the middle of that with me because I could hear more punching than normal, but I couldn't <laughs> see you. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Did you open your eyes? I, I did. Right there. It's not this way, by the way. Oh, I saw you get a level up there. Oh, wait, I can see you kind of glowing now. Is that Epiphany? Yes, it is. Well, look at you being My all epiphany up. Skill. Is that you in the middle of that? No, it's not. No. <laughs> I'm elsewhere. It's really doing hard important. to tell. I'm doing important things. Uh huh. Wait, this is actually a dead end. Where are you? Doing important things. Oh my god, I just damaged my equipment by vaulting and I didn't even get through a door. This is the one. Well, you're on the next level. <laughs> well done, Captain Observation. Hey, I am Legolas, remember? Orcs! Black <laughs> smoke! Yeah, I I completely agree with that, Adam. Uh, Matrix, you're not allowed to use any weapons unless you can actually see them on your character. So when you put them away to sheed them, that means you actually need to go bare fist from now on. Um, but my guy's hitting things with his post. So that's fine. Well, I'm gonna keep my really, eye on it. His, his, his mangle thing—you can you can see it swinging. But in general, monks have a tendency to use weapons that they don't then actually use. You know, they just kind of hold them somewhere else, sheath them, and then they punch something, and it's just not on. 
Yeah. Well, I'm not doing any of that. I'm using okay. Mangle, so it's all good. You're, you're playing the proper monk. The honourable monk. Yeah, that's kind of like an old Dungeons and Dragons thing where monks actually get benefits for being fair handed and not yeah. having a good <laughs> Yeah, stupidly, stupidly crazy um, armor reduction. Oh, sorry, armor, armor increase and um, uh, extra um, chance to hit directly, as well as potentially magic skills, depending on which version you're running. Yeah, Matrix is a true monk. If you ever go to like a, a Tibetan retreat and you meet them, they're not true monks because they're not doing what Matrix does. And you should tell them well, that. Uh, unless they're like 6'3 with purple hair. And oh yeah, they, if they're 6'3 with metal. purple hair and they're carrying stuff and mangling it, it is mangle you're using, right? Yeah. Then you could call them true monks. But otherwise, just imposters. Wannabes. Hipster monks. Oh my god, hipster monks Fake would be monks. the worst. Hipster monks, monks. would be the worst. <laughs> Isn't that just like how Krishna guys? Eh, uh, maybe. The guys pretending to be Harry Krishna guys. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's more like it. Brewdog monks. Cool. That went pretty well. Back to town. Hand this in. And then do you have time for one more Greater Rift? Uh, oh, go on very, very quickly. Yay. So, the Crusader Shield, which um, does more and more horses. Halcyon's Ascent, Belfar Caster, Manticore, and Marauder's Gloves. These can all be salvaged up. Yes, we can tell it's late. Most of my viewership have uh, gone. The, s the same with mine. I'm down to, to four on the live stream at the moment. But I do appreciate those that have stuck with me. And yes, I, I do have a spare manticore, um, so that one gets salvaged up. We're going to do one more Greater Rift. Are you ready, Matrix? Sure. Yeah, me just charging on through and getting right into the thick of it works quite well for me. Man, I recommend you do that in future. I quite like to know what the uh, range is for it to pay attention to my damage increase from having the sentries out. I think it's quite far, but I don't precisely know. I would assume if they're out at all, count. Yeah. So same level. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, I am definitely, definitely doing a good amount of damage in this area. Frozen. I know that you're, uh, we've got shielding, uh, shielding pylon. But thank you for uh, the warning, just in case. Have a very good night, Sperry. Good to have you join the stream again. I hope you've enjoyed this evening's frolics and uh, you'll join us again next time. Nope, nope, that's not the way to go. I'm coming, I'm cut. I overshot. Didn't want you here anyway. So. Shielding pile is gone. And I'm... Yeah, I, I was playing as if I didn't have it on, because at this difficulty it's, level... It's not worth getting into the false sense of um, survivability. Yeah. Speed pilot in a moment. 
as soon as I can actually get to it. <laughs> you got knocked back as well. Come on, just die, you little thing. There we go. Ooh, very nearly Rift Guardian time. I hope it's over by me so I don't have to re-put down my turrets. Ooh, channeling pilot. I don't care. It can be anywhere. It is over by me anyway. <laughs> the screen just turns red. <laughs> yeah, Agnidox had a very bad evening. Ring... And boots and a bow. That was rather weak as far as drops go. But what's important is Bane of the Trapped. This time I got the Sledge of Asper. So for the connect. Stone Cold and we have completed the champion objective. Huzzah! Well so... Done. The destroyer level, six minutes to save the world, finish the level 70 rift at torment 12 within six minutes, three gems to level 45, uh, a conquest, Urzil at torment 13, Rakanoth at torment 30, greater rift level 50 solo. Uh, good night there, Wallafried. It's been great having you alongside the stream all evening. I'll catch you again next time. It has been awesome. It's always good when uh, when people stop in and uh, and watch along with us. Right, let's put these uh, these points in there. So that has been an incredibly successful run. Thank you for sticking it out just a little bit longer. And I got some Marauder Treads. I got some Ancient Marauder Treads. Nice. They increase multi-shot damage, so yeah, I'm I'm going to wear them. I need to sort out the way they look, of course, but uh, generally pretty happy with that. Let's uh, salvage that up, and we'll salvage up these old Marauder Treads. Uh, this right, isn't a knifey demon hunter. This is a um, multi-shot demon hunter. Uh, we're gonna Unfortunately, re that is going to be all the time we have for this episode. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you've uh, continued to enjoy this as we're pushing the boundaries of our survivability. Uh, remember to like these videos if you like them and subscribe to our various channels if you haven't yet. Uh, we'll see you again soon for some more Diablo 3. We'll see you soon.